Um, so, you know, I thought this would be like a similar explore from the first video, but now it's definitely completely different. This is a three floor, literally apartment complex. Dude, look at that wall. All the way in the back. Oh my god, that thing's black! Is this the same floor? This is the same floor. There's no way you got this yeah. floor up. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. The gang's all up here. today everyone welcome back to the channel if you're new on here my name is Steve Rowan we're going to epic adventures every single week guys we have returned back to one of a spot that we did last year when it was completely untouched that's right we're back at the COVID hotel and I don't know what to say there's no more power It's deteriorating like crazy there's been so many explorers coming here we were like one of the first Radic and I and now it's just your typical urbex location it's crazy how this has deteriorated over time in just only eight to nine months. If you don't know about this place, it was open around the 1980s and closed down only recently. When we first got here, it was abandoned, but they had like legal issues with the court. They owed a lot of money in taxes to the state, like $200,000 worth of taxes that they didn't pay off. So that's one major reason this place was abandoned. Now, once COVID came in 2020, they just never got the customers. They weren't making any money at all. And they had to come and tell their employees like, hey, sorry, I can't pay you. You're getting laid off. I don't know when this place is gonna be open again, but I'm really sorry you have to leave and the these workers got that notification on the very first day they were literally coming to work and all of a sudden they had to just leave and their job ended so a lot of the stuff here too is also left behind stuff in the offices if you didn't see the first video i recommend you go see it because it was completely untouched now i'm trying i'm seeing things i noticed like a lot of the stuff has been stolen people have been taking stuff from the ceilings like the electrical wires like the copper and the, all the metals have been scrapped it's it's pretty wild but i'm really excited to explore and show you guys this place and just see what has happened although i've explored this before and maybe a lot of you guys have seen the first video it's still completely different now it has such a different feeling so before the adventure begins let's smash the thumbs up button and let's go on with the adventure so we're on the second floor. This hotel only has two floors, but it's really wide and it's massive. Um, but yeah, we're gonna check out the hotel rooms. There's a pool here, there's a banquet hall, there's all sorts of crazy, crazy rooms. I'm gonna treat this as if it was a new video for you guys because I'm sure also, you know, a lot of you are new to the channel and haven't seen this place at all. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Let's try to find the hotel rooms because last time all the hotel rooms were closed and I'm pretty sure some of them or more of them are open now. Alright, I found a weapon. Right, I don't think that's a weapon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Okay. Seven years of martial arts. It's called a butterfly. butterfly. Alright, yeah. one out of ten rates Radix butterfly in the comments section. Um, ten being really, really good. Yo, if people are telling you you're great at it, I think you should quit Urbex and just continue doing Hey, maybe I should that. go to Codring House and actually learn how to float there. Yes! I'll levitate. Yeah, you can fight the demons. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Oh, yeah, I can see this. Yeah, that room is bad. open. It's on the bed? Oh my god. god! Oh, what? what? Oh, a padlock there? attached at the bottom, too. So people okay. Have been to the and their, their jacket was off. Yeah, what the... Heck, it's a girl's jacket too. Okay, I'm connecting Wait, the dots. Oh, no. Yeah. Why? What do you think happened here, Steve? Um, you're connecting the dots. What must happened? Someone been in prison here. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Here we go. Swish drain Dang. gun. Swish drain gun. Right here. 
Um, so, you know, I thought this would be like a similar explore from the first video, but now it's definitely completely different because we can see some of the hotel rooms and I think we can find like the presidential suites or the really, really nice suites. Yeah, people have been definitely chilling in here, eating snacks, partying, drinking it up. Ew, someone used the toilet. Oh my gosh. That was us, Steve. Yo, this entire hallway has been stripped. I remember these hallways used to never be destroyed. Dude, look at that wall. All oh. the way in the back. Oh. oh my god, that thing's black! No, it's That's not safe. Nuts. We gotta get out of here. Oh, what? This, this must have been a sweet house of stairs. Oh, wow. This yeah. Is like a, it's like a loft. Two floors. Yeah, we didn't see this last time at all. Those doors were completely what? locked. Why is there a staircase in this room? It's a loft? Uh, yeah. That's amazing! Yeah, it's a loft suite. The TV's still here too. I'm gonna get you from up above and down. Find the uh, lock. Uh, Find the lock. I don't think that's it. Not the lock, but like the switch. It should be like a switch. Yeah, no, the switch is not even on it. Oh, did it take it off? <laughs> they take this mattress. Wow. So we're now on the second floor in this one room and the bed is immaculate, hasn't been touched at all. I wonder if there's anything in the drawers. Nah, looks like they're all empty. Wait, maybe the movies are- I'm just wondering why this room doesn't have any mold. But it's probably because there's no water leakage in here. I think they have, the other rooms are down below us are having pipe problems and it's leaking water. Fine, just gotta check your pipes. Oh. Oh. Answer here. This was definitely connecting to the other room for probably larger families. But it looks like it's locked. Hey, we got a microwave here. So quiet all the way back. And a refrigerator. Yeah, these look like uh, just plain old king bedrooms, and twin bedrooms, literally untouched. You can probably stay the night here if you really wanted to. And it comes with their own balcony. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Bathroom's really clean too. No mold issue in here. Now right on the other side is a bedroom with two, it's like twin beds. It's your typical hotel room. Beep is the fire alarms. They always ring no matter what, even if there's no power. So these bedrooms we've been exploring are definitely higher end from the, all the other rooms. I know there's another wing or section. <sighs> and they're nearly not as nice as this. A lot of those rooms have mold problems and they don't have their own balconies. All right, finally, got this room to myself this is a three floor literally apartment complex in the hotel even got its own kitchen own living room and upstairs are the bedrooms let's check out the living room wow bathroom still has all the towels this is nice wow i can only imagine if i came here the first time with power on this hotel's not bad, you know? I thought it'd be a lot more wrecked and destroyed. Oh, that's a nice painting. I like that house. It looks like it's from the UK. I miss the UK a lot. I really want to go back soon. Oh, here's another bedroom. So there's two bedrooms in here. All the beds are still made. Look at these couches and sofas. They still look pretty comfy. TV right there too. That's a nice wardrobe. I'm seeing a little bit of water damage. Who knows how long until that leaks. Oh, smells. Oh, this is nice. An upstairs bedroom. Looks like a king size bed. 
big walk-in closet. I bet you this was the bathroom. Can't get in. Alright, this is the best room so far. I don't know what can top this in here. So far we've seen three or four different rooms. Let's see if we can find other ones. I bet you this vending machine still has some drinks. I remember this was still working. I was able to buy some drinks when this place was first abandoned with power left. Yeah, so I'm not gonna bother really checking out rooms that had similar structure. Yeah, it looks like that's a double bed. We already seen that. This is wild. Like all of the hotel rooms have been open. I'm not sure how that happened. Someone must have opened them when this place had power on. They probably used the key cards that they found in the counter. Uh, is there any rooms that we can enter? No, they're all locked. The only room we got is the one. At least Damn. we have an idea because all the rooms are probably the same. Yeah. And look, there's like unopened bottles of Diet Coke. Radic, I got a gift for you. I love Diet Coke. Are you gonna toss it? Oh. Wait, throw me another one. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Radic. You better catch this one. Are you gonna toss it? There you Yo, go. Let's nice. put some mentos in this. Well, that's a lot. How about, do you want water? We got some water. You got water. Just throw me everything. Now. Here. Here's some water. Wait, throw me another one. Oh, yeah, I got you a Sprite. Yo, I actually do like Sprite. I get it, it's mine. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, I'm keeping What's it. What's the uh, expiration date on that? What are you guys doing over there? We're throwing soda. You what? Yeah, we're throwing soda. There's uh, uh, un unopened Wait, bottles of soda here. Dude, it's expired by a year. You want, you want Diet Coke or Sprite no, or water? Any old soda. Dude, it's expired by a whole entire year. Oh, seriously? Yeah, it's, it's expired on... February 20th. Oh yeah, I see that right now. There's a date. I didn't know that. That's crazy. February 20th. Oh, dangerous. You don't want to smash. So, we've been in the back rooms here when there was power on before. Yes. And things were actually working. Yes. This means I need the actual Yo, so. look at this conference room. <coughs> this one's massive. Dude, I don't, I don't remember going inside this room at all. May have gone through the other door, yeah, but I think it just looks so different now because everything's actually yeah. decaying and it was not like this. This is the same floor. There's no way it got yeah. this floor up. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. Dude, people like Dude, the all, all of this was up, it was clean, there was nothing on this floor, it was completely empty. Nothing. I know, dude. This is, this is so the, this was, crazy. Remember when we entered, this was the, the hallway we first Yo! went through. And all these doors were closed. Everything was closed up. You couldn't get into a single room. Yeah, so this is how the hallway used to look. Wow. I, I didn't recognize it yeah. at all. I, I, I really thought we were in another building that I've never seen before here. Yeah, I'm very shocked. Like, what did, did people do this? They I don't know. Have. Yeah, there's no way. All the why would, why would there's no way. Staff there's no way to decay everything like this. and yeah, rip yeah, yeah. it. Yeah. There's just, no, I gotta get a shot of people this. People just though. stealing everything. Yeah. All right, so I just found the housekeeping office. This was the room where they had a laid off notice on the person's door. Oh man, it smells so soggy and wet. All right, here is the room. Oh my gosh, it was never like this before. Wow. But I had to come here and see this notice place on the employees' doors. This hotel is closing operation until major renovations are completed. Therefore, this letter is to notify you that you are being laid off. This is why I said in the beginning. Although we anticipate this to be a temporary closure, we are unable to determine that at this time. They really had no clue when this place was going to be open or not. I was really rooting for them to open again, but I think this place is never coming back. You may file for unemployment. If you need any information with that, please do not hesitate to contact our HR manager and she will assist. As far as for any insurance, it will be in effect until January 31st, 2020. 
it's which, in which you will receive a Cobra Notes for a continuation of benefits. We appreciate all your efforts and hope this will only be temporary and we'll be in contact once we are open in operation. But sadly, that's not happening. That's nuts to see. Rest in peace, this hotel. This was like the janitor's like room. Oh man, there's You're so much crazy. black mold on the ceiling as well. Yeah, that's the only thing that really destroyed this place is the black mold problem. I should not even be walking in this room for that long. Oh. You have all the clothes here from the previous employees. I remember before this place was leaking really bad. Oh my gosh, look at that wall. Someone must have done laundry and hanged their clothes up. All right, I'm getting out of here. This is really bad. I remember this was locked up too. Jeez, I'm surprised no one has really destroyed the gym equipment in here. Check out the sauna. Ew, it's all moldy in there. I'd rather not. Okay, we're now entering the banquet hall. People have wrote something on the wall. Guess you can pause it if you really want to read it. Hey, yeah, before I said like, could you just imagine the weddings that they used to have in here? Look at this. People actually put a pentagram on the table here. Pretty sure this room in here was the um, the supervisor or administrator's office. Just a notice for violations. You are hereby noticed that an inspection by the town of Cromwell. Office of Fire Marshal disclosed violation of the Connecticut State Fire Code. The violations are specified on the accompanying violations report. You are hereby ordered by the Fire Marshal to correct the violations listed on the company. Let's go read the violations of this hotel. I have a feeling it's about the mold. Nature location. First floor tower hall. Fire door must be positive latching. Oh, yep. Yeah. I'm gonna have to blur a lot of this, but it definitely is talking about the mold problem in here. Emergency light not working. Electrical fire safety. Man, a lot of things were wrong about this hotel and broken down and they never really took care of it. restaurant yeah I think I remember when I first explored the restaurant it was really really dark at the time so it's good that we're here during the day to take a better look at the place and surprisingly it's pretty much the same look at the chairs they're still stacked up kind of as how they were before nothing has really been moved around I mean, the drawers have been ransacked, of course. They're probably looking for money or something of value. Wow, we 
still got the sign right here. Breakfast buffet, 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. for $12, all inclusive. So uh, I would say that's a pretty good deal. A buffet, all you can eat for $12, not bad. Look, we even still got the plates. Here are the buffet trays. I'm surprised these aren't smashed. on the wall. This is still neatly organized in here too. Oh, we got some tea packets. Right next to it, you know, you would get your water probably from this spot. Here's the bar area. Got the cocktail menu and the beer. We got the liquor menu right here. Oh, no way. This is where you would put the bill for the people. Yeah, there's like mold growing on everything that I'm seeing, even the straws. Yeah, there's like fruit flies all over them. To use a ladder of some sort but I also think it's falling apart just because of the water damage yeah, here's the counter one of my friends who explored her actually said the cards were working I never really bothered to check when this place had power I thought you know you had to like kind of program it on the computer I really can't believe I'm exploring the same hotel that I did eight months ago. I guess no one could have cracked the safe yet. It doesn't even open. Still got this huge printer here. This can fetch you a good amount of money. What, well, this thing is probably worth like thousands of dollars. You had all the mailboxes for the employees. Looks like some people got to open them with the keys. And some people put the keys, but they're not opening. This is probably where they got the keys for the mailboxes. Oh, they even have the labels. Concierge, MOD, desk cash. <laughs> we have the cash register keys right here at one point. Lobby keys. Yo, we have a reservations blacklist. You're probably not allowed. These people on the list are probably never allowed to stay at the hotel. <laughs> allowed back? No. Call police immediately. No, no, no. Call police immediately. Jeez. So we're now on the back of the main counter. This is where you know you would check in, check out. Yep. And we're now making our way to the server room. 
This room used to be beeping like crazy. Oh, and we got a calendar for the month of January. Even says Happy New Year 2020 on it. But yeah, this was their server room. And it used to be ring this entire area of the hotel. Wonder if people stole some of the computer stuff. No, it looks still pretty decent. Oh, we still got the employees. We still got all. So we have a list of all the employees, like accounting, people that would manage the banquets, engineering, executive office. And they have all the room numbers for them right here. But I pretty much remember every single room here. I went through it in the first video. So if you guys want to see another glimpse of this place when it used to be like fresh and untouched with power, I definitely recommend you watch it. You can watch it right over here or link in description after you're done watching this video. Just made it to the pool area. And wow, there's just so much things on the floor. I remember it was super clean. There was nothing like this anywhere. I don't know which one I like better. I think I definitely like exploring this place when I first did it, when everything had power and it was very, very untouched. But it's also really cool to see it decay like this because it now it has a more abandoned and apocalyptic feel to it. I guess it's from all the rain that comes down from the leaks, still keeping the plants alive. This is a little strange to have here. It's for the leakage, but it's not like it stopped anything. This is, wow. There's graffiti everywhere. This pool never had that before. Christmas decorations, probably from the Christmas tree that was here, I remember. Oh, wow, yeah, people decorated it over here. Probably for an Urbex photo. Dude, there's a flipping Christmas tree in here. Jeez. This is my favorite though, this dome area. Probably one of the best abandoned pools I've ever seen during an exploration. I actually explored another hotel like this up in New York. And it was the same brand. They had a pool too, but this is definitely hands down the best pool that they have for their hotels. Just look at the dome. That's like iconic right there. Literally sewage water. Yeah. It's not the same. I remember each of those lights would light up at night. About around this time. And they would light up automatically. But I want to try getting on top of the dome. And I think I know the way to get there. Just found the way to get to the rooftop and to reach the dome. So I literally have my camera on my shoulders right now as I'm climbing this. This is the Steve Ronin technique. It works perfectly. The gang's all up here. Man. Look at the view from up here. All right, everyone. So we're just chilling on the rooftop. Great way to end the day on a rooftop. Can we get ice cream after this? Yeah, let's get ice cream. Let's yes. get ramen. Let's get all the good stuff. We deserve it. But yeah, um, pretty much explored everything. Showed off all the rooms. It was really awesome coming back here. And I really like how we got to see a lot of different things and just see it naturally decay like this. 
Um, you know, I really love a band plays this when they're when they look abandoned the first time around. You know, it was still pretty cool with power, but it was such a different explore. So I really hope you guys like this as well. If you did, let me know down in the comments and give this video a massive thumbs up. And if you enjoy content like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button bell. And I'll see y'all next time. Peace and thanks for watching. to it and you can literally just climb ladders with your camera like this and it'll be safe. That's pretty amateur bro. Uh, bro. That's an amateur move. I bro you wish you found this out. I, I, I fucked that up. I'm sorry. You did. <laughs> it was pretty good.